We are here at the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg, and I'm talking this afternoon to Mr. Pöchmüller. Mr. Pöchmüller is CEO of Neumunda. You may have heard of or not. We, we could maybe, for, for an introduction, we could explain where the, na where the name comes from, Neumunda. Yeah, thank you for the invitation. You can call me Peter. That's easier than okay. Mr. Pöchmüller. And I'm ex Kimonda, uh, uh, product development guy. In the year 2008, the DRAM business left Europe mm -hmm. with the bankruptcy of Kimonda, and I want to bring it back. Mm -hmm. In us are the genes of Kimonda. A lot of ex Kimonda employees mm -hmm. help us. So, Neumonda, the new Kimonda, mm -hmm. we want to bring uh, DRAM business know how back to Europe. Okay. And I selected this name, then a lot of ex Kimonda guy connected me. Hey, Peter. I, I, I can name. remember last year here at the show, you introduced the prototype of this Reno board, as you call it. Uh, maybe you could explain just briefly why you think it's a revolutionary test methodology and uh, how it works. Yeah. So this is a single tile. We mount six of them, that it has the size of a burn in board, 10 kilograms. And this should replace 10 tons of test equipment. A minimum memory test cell needs $10 million invest, 10 tons of equipment. So this is 1,000 times less weight, 1,000 mm. times uh, less invest, 100 times less power consumption. And in my opinion, we will prove it can even deliver better quality than existing solutions. So it's a very revolutionary, totally mm -hmm. different approach how to test memories. Okay, so the, you introduced the prototype last year. What has changed since then? Yeah, one year has passed. Uh, our investor also impatient. Hey, Peter, you have a prototype one year ago, and why can't we still <laughs> sell it? Prototype? is nothing you can really use in production. Uh, this is complex. Uh, mm -hmm. You mount six together. Uh, the first prototype immediately working, yeah? not to the frequencies as we expected. Then you mount it together, and then you start the first volume experiments. And then the real problems happen in production. Reliability, the whole thing bending a little bit. You have an FPGA with 1,000 sorted uh, contacts. It will break at one time. Mm -hmm. Contact, you change the temperature from minus 55 to plus 125 degrees. Which socket is the right one? Mm -hmm. Which pressure do you need? When started to degrade? And we got uh, this according simulation is working to up one gigahertz because you have long distances here from the FPGA to the connector here, you get reflections, and works very nice as a small prototype, mm -hmm. but then if you go into production, you find issues, non-perfections, they have to be solved, mm -hmm. and now we are ready, uh, the latest version solves all those issues, and now we can use it for our own company in production. Okay, so we are currently in the phase of uh, m making the product uh, usable on the market or for production. We use it in our own company because mm -hmm. first I have to prove also with delivery to the end customer the quality is as I promise it. Uh, a lot of software is also needed together with it. You need to analyze the socket performance, the yield, when is it degrading, when you need to fix it. It must be connected in a factory to a MES system, to the CAT software, uh, mm -hmm. to monitor everything. Uh, how is the stability of temperature, temperature difference between the components? This we do first internally. Next year, I will give it to selected external partners, okay. the first other factories. They will help me further to debug mainly the software interaction with the factory. And then after end of next year, then it's ready to distribute it widely in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's for DRAM tests, which generations? Uh, it will be for DRAM testing, then we start low performance because also most customers are still DDR3. Uh, end of this year, it will be able to do DDR4, DDR5, mm. LPDDR4, uh, LPDDR5, 
Um, and then we also started parallel development. If you really want to go to dramatically high frequencies, far beyond one gigahertz, then you need a test AC. Uh, because the higher the frequency, the shorter you must bring the tester to the memory component under test. Uh, mm -hmm. And because it's a flexible concept, it's not so complicated to redesign this part. Uh, we will also extend it then to flash, SD cards, etc. The system, the software around it, all remains the same, controlled by this Raspberry mm. Pi. You just modify this board and then you can also mm. use it for other applications like mm. SSD testing or EMMC testing. Mm. Which market do you aim at with your first product? The first product will be memory DRAM DDR4, uh, LPDDR4, starting with our own company, Industrial. Uh, tomorrow, we will sign a contract for another development, which we call the Octopus Tester, that is intended for module testing only. So at mm. the moment, my highest priority is LPDDR mm. for industrial customers mm -hmm. and module and pre-sorting of module low temp also for industrial mm -hmm. customers. So we focus industrial market. What, what, who are the typical customers for these systems? Um, uh, industrial customers, wide spectrum, uh, robot producers, camera system, uh, security cameras, um, all kind of industrial applications which are outdoors, exposed to low temperatures, because everywhere you have today a compute unit, a CPU, talking with DRAM or other memory components. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you going to replace the big testing machines? You spoke with of thousands of uh, uh, better performance and uh, lower price, so do, are we going to attack the typical test machine manufacturers? I cannot say yes, because <laughs> they are our customers <laughs> for the DRAM components. <laughs> but mm -hmm. certainly I will challenge them, but it will not be like killing them. If you have super high volume, like a Samsung, then such a test system makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my target is not lowering the test costs. My target is premium quality for industrial supplier. Premium quality you can only achieve if you test them as in the application environment. The tester is an artificial environment. So we have different approaches. Mm -hmm. And Teradyne or Advantest volume tester is for super high volume of the Samsung and Hynix of the same part. I'm more for flexibility and premium quality. Suddenly a customer comes, I need minus 55 degrees, mm. or I need 105 degrees, or yesterday somebody came, I need 125 degrees. Such solutions are not possible with classical tester because it's also very complicated to program them. And here, I, everything is under my control. I don't need any secrets on chip. It's very easy to do mm -hmm. the solution. Mm -hmm. Different approaches. Okay. So why does nobody else have the idea to develop a system similar to this up to now? A lot of companies have the idea or the need, but the only thing they can do is motherboard testing. You take a motherboard, uh, you take modules, you do clamshells, you put your components in clamshells, plug in it, put a climate chamber around it. Mm -hmm. But climate chamber works typically only hot, Cold temperature, you get icing, other problems. You cannot do it so easily on motherboard. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do professional testing of memory, um, you need to understand it. There are a lot of test modes on it, secrets, why they are not testable for other companies on the expensive test machines. Mm -hmm. uh, and on motherboard, you are very limited with your CPU, what you can do. But in our company, we are lucky that we have the DRAM know-how. We know how the DRAM works, the memory cell. Mm -hmm. uh, we have customers. We see the problems of the customers. And I have the tester know in our company. Mm -hmm. Those three together is very unique. Mm -hmm. So therefore, mm -hmm. we think we can do it Why others will not be able to do it. OK. And do the prospective customers realize what you are going to offer? 
at least the companies which have need for it mm -hmm. come to us. There was one company yesterday, oh, we are doing gaming cards, but for gaming you overclock your memory modules, but how do you pre-test the components before you make the module? Uh, if mm -hmm. you have one lower speed component and put it in this overclock, the whole module is not working. So you get uh, a lot of problems, yield issues on module level. So those notice that this is a very mm. helpful system. Finally, we want to convince the end customer. Yeah? Mm. Hey, look, this is superior quality to what uh, you can do on a classical test system without mm. speed testing. But for this, I need to prove it. I will do it. When I talk with customers and customers, they all say, Great idea, but don't try it with me first. <laughs> Take another one. Yeah. So I have an approach. We do it diluted very carefully with our mm. own volume. Mm. And then when you get more confident, yes, it delivers the performance and quality mm. as I expect from it, uh, then the customers will also yeah. come. Yeah? Okay. We also will in the future mark each component individually. Uh, so we will be the first company who will be also able to do the total tracking. If there are customer returns coming back, mm -hmm. you will be able to scan it. You see what tests it had been on, what the results had been uh, on an individual memory component value. Mm -hmm. And this will be highly valued I think, mm -hmm. by the industrial customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are at the end of the second day of Embedded World this year. Um, how was the traffic on your booth? Are, are people interested in this? And uh, do you There's, get a lot of uh, questions? Yeah, the board is an eye catcher. Yeah. A lot of people stop and say, oh, uh, what's that? DRAM industry is very little in Europe. Yeah? Yeah. So those companies who have test needs, uh, develop tester, they stop by. Uh, they're very interested. And I already have a set of customers Ah, which are also at the exhibition here who are interested in this system, who would participate. But first, I need the internal development must be finished, proven, the experience must be done in higher volume, mm. and then next year those customers will use it. Okay, so these are the challenges for the next 12 months. There are many challenges because we know now it fundamentally works. Uh, so we have this version with an FPGA for industrial customer where you want to control the pattern very well. Then we develop one with an Intel CPU targeted for module business. Mm -hmm. Then we develop the test ASIC, which should also be taped out end mm -hmm. of the year that we can do to very mm -hmm. high frequencies next year. And then the premium I want to do next year also integrate a probe card here that you can put a wafer at all temperature, uh, random temperature onto it, and that we can deliver no good dye. The dye tested at speed in an application-like environment with noise, with data eye issues, to see the robustness of your memory. Nobody can do this today, mm. so a lot of things to the, be done. These are quite ambitious goals for a comparable small company. How, 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 do you how can you accomplish it? We are at the limit, but sometimes it's good that you have not so many resources. Yeah, I think <laughs> I can openly speak about this. This is a ex Kimonda solution in the mm. year 2008. My own group, I was head of development, developed it, 20, 50 million dollar, over engineered, very complicated. If you have a small team, you are focused to do the essentials, mm. and I think we will come up with a better solution, much more low cost, because you have not such a big team. Mm -hmm. This can also help you, can mm -hmm. really guide you. But with those four projects going on in parallel, we are now at the limit. Okay. And we use a lot of external parties to outsource, so Contron will develop the CPU solution for us, so we give them a specification, but you have others then doing the work mm -hmm. for you. Okay. So I'm very much looking forward to Embedded World 2025. Maybe we will dis we discuss what has been accomplished then and uh, if you could deliver all these uh, parts as you uh, planned it before. And um, yeah, I wish you good luck.
and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your continued interest. And I promise next <laughs> year I will put here three big boards where you will see all those solutions. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you.